Hello, I'm Cristiana Ciro Santos. I'm a rheumatology consultant from uh, Leon's University Complex uh, from Spain. And I'm also one of the ULAR TV reporters from this year's ULAR 2024. I'm very happy to be joined by Professor Mauricio Cutolo and Professor Vanessa Smith uh, that have celebrated the 20 years since the, the first ULAR course on capillaroscopy and microcirculation. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Cutulo and, and Professor Vanessa Smith for agreeing to do the interview. First, maybe to Professor Cutulo, how to, what does it feel to you personally to celebrate 20 years since the first edition of the course? Yes, I must say just one word, very satisfied. Because when I started to imagine this course 20 years ago, I said maybe too much to think about one capillary and make a course of three days around the capillary. But the application were a lot. The countries, 20 countries, I said, oh, this works. And so every two years we start to replicate, every two years, every two years, and then COVID stopped for two years. And then we restarted, but this time with the EULAR as decided to have our course pre-Congress course. So this again, again another advancement. And then now, as you know, we have sold out happy people that came during the third, the fourth, they came again because they see that it's every year updated. So every year there is something new. And this is also a reason of satisfaction, pleasure, and to thank all my colleagues that uh, made possible this adventure that is growing over the time. That is wonderful. As one of the participants myself from the course, I would advise all the young people who are interested in capillaroscopy to do it. And you also have the online course, which I did myself, yeah. and it's, it's very nice. So I, I think people should, should do it for sure. And for Professor Vanessa Smith, has the course changed a lot over the times? What are some of the innovative uh, implementations that you have uh, used in the course? Or what are some of the novelties that you you would like to share with our audience? Well, I'd like to share, thank you so much, Christiana, first of all, for coming and for being so active. What has changed over the time from when I started to now is that thanks to Euler, we could make a standardization of how to interpret capillaroscopy. We could make an Euler study group, which allowed us to make a very easy algorithm to discern um, patients who are prone to get systemic cirrhosis versus not because we have a very nice fast track algorithm thanks to the ULAR study group. So I think at this very moment we can say this is a tool which can be used in daily practice in rheumatology offices. That's great. I don't know Professor Kutulo if you would like to elaborate on some of the uh, uh, innovation, right. yeah, because I really like, enjoyed using the ultrasound and the LASK and there's a lot of, I think the course is very complete in that aspect. Yes, I think there are a couple of three messages very important. The first one is that this is a very safe, non-invasive and reliable, quantifiable and reproducible over the years. So you have finally something that is safe and direct. First, important for the early diagnosis. Second, that uh, uh, you must think about uh, that rheumatology finally have in their hands some tools for diagnose the disease by their self. Ultrasound of the joint, the muscles of the skin, and capillaroscopy and microcirculation tools, as mentioned. So this make for the young rheumatologists to be proud to be able by their own because it's part of the education to learn uh, sonography and capillaroscopy, be able during their activity to investigate the patient by themselves. And this is really important. And third, as I mentioned, is the enthusiasm that is spread in all the world. We had 45 countries from Qatar to Iceland. So we are very, very, very satisfied because now EULAR is diffusing the world the culture of the clinical diagnosis, but also clinical research related to the possibility to investigate the new drugs or even the follow-up to the patient during the treatment. That's good. I think you, you just uh, hit on my last question, which is 
for the young people such as myself with a well and I think you can both answer it because it's nice to have a, a, just a perspective from the two of you who want to do a capillaroscopy in their everyday practice and also to do it for research purposes yeah. do you have any advice for these people yes I would suggest the boss of each unit of rheumatology to help the young rheumatologists to participate to the education online, live course, even coming in our centers, they want in the, during the exchanges, learn the activity and buy to them a little machine so they can start and become very important. And they will refer to them angiologists, immunologists, internal medicine, dermatologists, and so on. So the, the center become important and the patients are happy. Yeah, it's true. And Professor Smith? I fully agree with that and I would also like to invite the youngs like you to join the Euler study group because as we now have standardization we can do joint research across not only systemic sclerosis but a lot of rare connective tissue diseases and make bridges to other continents. In this way with the Euler study group we've made nice bridges to the United States. So. Besides of what Professor Scutula said, I would like to say, join us all so we can do standardized research together and education together, besides using it in daily practice. That's a very nice incentive. So thank you very much, Professor Kutolo and Professor Smith for agreeing to do the interview. And thank you all for watching this interview and have an amazing EULAR 2024.